Hi, welcome back to me and Mon Ami. And our poor little Citroen Ami has been recalled for the second time. So you may remember about three or four months ago, uh, we had our first recall when we were, we were uh, uh, taken into the Citroen dealership in Nice and we had some new flaps fitted. Well, I think that's not the technical term, but basically we were the last generation of this car to not have the, uh, I think the wheel arches they call them technically, so that when uh, the car was going over pebbles or rough stuff, it was, you could hear them bouncing around <laughs> inside, the, inside the car. So we got those uh, and we also had our locks changed. Um, I think probably because they thought that if you had these exposed locks, the locks may have got damaged by this exposure. So anyway, that was recall one. And you may remember uh, it took rather longer than we thought it would. We were in there at sort of 8.30 a.m. We were told it would only take three hours and it, it sort of took till after lunch. Anyway, that was all sorted. And then lo and behold, about uh, six, seven weeks ago, we received another letter. Uh, the, the dreaded letter, la, la fiabilité des véhicules de votre sécurité et une préoccupation majeure pour Citroën. Now, I will spare you uh, any more of my fabulous French. Uh, Mr. Boo uh, would, would obviously do this much better than me. But anyway, the bottom line is we call for a second recall, which is to remplacer, which is to replace le réducteur moteur so Votre Citroen Ami, and this is deemed absolutely essential. So they called us in to replace the reductor, which I think in English translates as the reducer. Uh, now, as you'll know, I am a mechanical expert, but with a bit of fishing around, uh, I've established that I think, and I know you guys will correct me if I'm wrong, that the reducer is a kind of a series of, uh, of cogs which uh, reduce the speed on the motor. Something like that, but it attaches to the motor. So it's part of, part of what Valio, the company, produced for this thing, uh, which is the motor and the reducer. So anyway, we uh, were called into the Citroen dealership at a much more godly hour of 10.30 a.m., not 8.30 a.m. Uh, however, they did uh, say to us, could you come back tomorrow? And we said no, because we were visiting our aged gran in the Dordogne, weren't we? And uh, we just needed it. We needed it back. So, um, uh, and also we live quite a long way from the dealership. So anyway, they agreed to try and do it that day. Uh, we came back and then we got the call about 4.30, 4 o'clock, something like that. Came back right across Nice. Uh, and picked her up. And we asked the guy why the, uh, the reducers, the reductors, were being replaced. And he said, this is quote, because if they're not, some of them, quite a lot of them, of this particular batch, well, they, they start screaming. <laughs> they, 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 they turn Elton into a screaming queen. And we don't want that. So um, apparently this is going to stop that happening. Uh, and I, I do know that somebody in Britain uh, reported recently that their Ami had gone in for a, uh, with a problem that seemed to be to do with it making a lot of noise. Now that could be to do with the belt, or I wonder if it's to do with the reductor, the reducer, who knows? Anyway, uh, we had some very nice people at Citroen Nice who dealt with us very nicely and they, uh, changed over our reducer and they even plugged Elton in and gave him a little charge for us, didn't they? So that when we got there, he was all plugged in and ready to go. So um, anyway, we're back on the road. Well, we were never off the road. We've had two recalls, neither of which <laughs> we, we felt were necessary, but we're very glad to have had them. Uh, and uh, Elton's going like a good one. <laughs> We'll see you on the next one. Remember everyone, stay charged. <laughs>